What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Team Ribbon Lips. If this is your first time here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for us. This video here we filmed a couple days ago. We were at Mill Creek, which is near Lancaster City here in Pennsylvania. Um, it was our first time fishing there. We did really well. I ended up catching 15 smallmouth, one largemouth, one rock bass, and uh, one sunfish. It was a lot of fun, and I'm editing the video right now, and I realized I never filmed an intro. So that's what this is. That's why I'm sitting here at my house. Anyways, enjoy the video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and check back for more videos. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming, and thanks for watching. There's one. Dude, I got a big one. Dude, that is a good one. So here's what we're using, guys. It's a little grub on like a, what is this, an eighth ounce head? Yeah. A little grub on an eighth ounce head. Fishing a local creek, not too far away from a big city. And we're just casting it out, letting it sink to the bottom, and just slowly railing it along, tipping the rocks and the sticks on the bottom of the creek. And the smallies are just crushing it. I caught six so far today. It's actually using a popper. He caught three, two on the popper, one on the grub. There's one. Man, he's really strong for a little guy. Don't shake it too much. That's my last grub. This mud stinks so bad. That is number seven. Man, I stepped on this log and moved all this mud. She stinks. We got a green pumpkin and brown. I'd probably get with brown. There's another one. Man, I knew there was more in there. They fight, they hit so hard over there. You get it right in the right spot. Look at that, right in the top, boys. Number eight. Zach stuck in a tree. Story of his life. I was using a green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. Now I gotta use this brown guy because I'm out. Still see him. Not as confident though. Oh man, I just had a hit. I'm confident again. Dude, they are stacked over there. They're all little, but... That teeny tiny guy? That's what, number nine? Three right here in this spot. This is a good, good, good. First cast, I knew this was a good spot. First cast. That's number 10. There's one. Oh, he's a good one. Got a good one. Dude, he's fighting. You catch one, Zach. That's cool. I call a nice little chunky guy here. 
Number 11. Perfect dismount. There's one. Little guy. There's a lot of little ones right here. I need to just move. Number 12. Choked it. Perfect. Right in the top. Number 12. Let it get down there, just take it along the bottom. Oh, dude, I just missed him. There's, oh gosh, I missed him again. This fish is making me look bad. Same cast. There he is, I got him that time. Finally. Got another one. Another little one. 13. Took me four, three, four, three or four casts to get that fish. I pretty much like, I'll reel it down the middle and if I don't feel anything, I'll let it get down at the bottom on the next cast. And then as soon as I find where they're at, like the school, I just keep fishing that same area. There he is. Is that a largemouth? Yeah, it is. No, it's not. Number 15. Oh, it is a largey. It's really weird looking. It's a largemouth. Because it didn't have like a nice lateral line, it was just kind of all faded across. Maybe. When I first pulled him up, I was like, it's a largemouth. Then I got him closer. I'm like, no, it's not. And I don't know. Rookie. I was 15, my first largemouth of the day, though. I'm going to go back up there for Zach. This lady creeped me out. She's walking around her porch with a broom saying, I don't know. Don't even think about it and there's nothing there. <laughs>